Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. I was looking at my channel because I had a question like this come from a student. How do we solve something like this? And I didn't have anything on my channel that kind of covers a problem like this one. So, um, I mean, there are ones that are similar. They just don't have any fractions on the inside of the absolute value like this one does. So, here we go. The first thing I'm going to need to do on this is to split this into two separate inequalities. Now we have to remember in absolute values, uh, when I keep what we're comparing with this thing, right, the 2.735, when we keep that positive, the inequality will stay the same. Now on the other hand, if I make that the negative, then I need to flip that inequality like this. So now what I need to do is I'm going to get uh, this is what I'm going to do anyways. I will get rid of the fraction so by multiplying both sides of both inequalities by 12. So what this does is it gets rid of the 12 denominators for both of these inequalities. And now I'm just going to take 2.735 and negative 2.735 and multiply that by 12. The x minus 100 will stay the same. And we multiplied both sides by positive, so it's not going to affect either one of the inequalities. So that will still be greater than or equal to. This one will also be less than or equal to still. So that gives us this for both of these inequalities. After I multiply this by 12, I get 32.82. Here, negative 2.735 times 12, the negative 32.82. So they're just opposites right now. But this is where the difference will come in is in solving this, we need to add 100 to both sides of the of both inequalities. And what we're left with is we got this x, and yeah, it's still greater than or equal to, but now I got 32.82 plus 100, which is 132.82. On the other hand, uh, over here, we got negative 32.82 plus 100. That's going to be a little bit different. Now I got uh, 67.18. So x is less than or equal to 67.18. And x is also greater than or equal to 132.82. Now if this were a word problem, we'd have to be careful because right here we're saying that if x is greater than this number, then it gives us a true statement, right? So it depends on what it's saying. Over here, if x is less than 67.18, it can also be a true statement. So this is really kind of an or statement between these two. I mean, if we were to see the graph, uh, we would see the two lines going in separate directions here. Right? You'd have one at 67.18, it would be a closed circle going to the left, and at 132, would have a closed circle going to the right. So again, all those values make that a true statement, so uh, whatever we're considering We'd have to look at those and see, well, if a number that we get falls in this range right here, that makes the statement true, whatever the statement we have. If it were somewhere in here, then we can see that it makes the statement false, and whatever statement we had would be false, okay? And the same thing over here. If it were in this range over here, that would still be some kind of true statement. So be aware. And be careful when you do these because it's important to know the difference and how they may relate to some kind of word problem.